Hey, this is Paul with ProShop. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about, about inspection and paperwork reporting, quality reporting in ProShop. So let's look at this part we have here on the screen and talk about a few things. So we're in our part module right now, and the part module is sort of the engineering master for this item. This is where we have the latest revision documented. Um, you can see that this cell is has a background color in green, and this is actually a hyperlink right here. So if I click this, it will actually show me the drawing that is attached to that to that to that file, to that part record. Uh, that file got there through an approval process, and ProShop is even storing it in a part folder that it made and is managing for this part number. So inside of uh, this customer, we have this part number with all these subfolders, and that drawing that's linked in here is right here. This is the file that we see when we click this document. Uh, the file when we click this link. So this um, this is here. This was here uh, through a process. If I scroll down here, we can see this approved print. There's sort of a formal process in ProShop to to approve and release a new drawing revision. So so that is one element of it. Now the next thing is inspection plans. How does ProShop? Uh, how do you design and build inspection plans? So. Uh, the inspection plans are defined by operation number in ProShop. So if we click into operation 60 here, for example, and I click on this operation component, inside of an operation we have several different things we call operation components. Uh, part check is our sort of inspection plan. And if I click on that, I see these specific dimensions and criteria that we need to inspect when we're running a, a work order for this part number specifically for operation 60, which is our second milling operation. So these, these uh, inspection points here can be built from scratch just by going into edit mode and putting in tolerances and dimensions and, and uh, gauges and things of that nature. We can also import this through a CSV import file. Um, so if you use some kind of balloon tagging software, ProShop does not do balloon tagging. Um, if you use a balloon tagging software, like uh, like HiQA or Discus or Inspection Expert, uh, you can import uh, those those inspection plans right into ProShop using this this interface. So once you have defined uh, the inspection plan, uh, you can also further define which inspection values you want to report on your customers facing. Uh, first article inspection report. Just because we collect it in inside of ProShop does not necessarily mean you want to report it to your customer. You might have features that are internal only. Uh, you hold them to a tighter tolerance for fixturing. Um, maybe they're making sure that the rough stock gets cleaned up, but you don't actually care to report that to your client. So you can all define that inside of our inspection tool. Each operation can have its own inspection. So here, operation 60, if I click here on 70, you can see that's a different set of inspection criteria. Uh, operation 50 here. Uh, these are some sort of internal things with uh, the designation that we don't want to include those um, on the reporting just by adding a letter here. And we can also add pictures into this. So there's a picture of what that looks like when the material is not cleaned up all the way. Um, so those are available as well. So once you have the inspection plan, and then we have a work order. So here we're jumping over to a work order for the same exact part number. So there's that part we were just looking at. If we go into an operation here, uh, a first article will be one of the components that we have on a work order if you indeed do have to do inspection. When I click on that, it shows me, in this case, the completed inspection results that we that we got when we made these this work order. Uh, this first column is typically designated for the setup person or the operator that's making the that's making the parts to do their checking, uh, and then we have a second or third column to have an inspection or quality buy-off um, uh, from someone else to to double check their work. In this case, we also had a non-conformance report um, that's linked right onto this value, which was out of tolerance at the beginning. Uh, then we made a new part, uh, double checked it, and now it's good. So this inspection data can and will be formatted into some kind of format to provide to your customer based on your customer's preferences. So in this case, uh, this customer requires an AS9102 format because they're an aerospace customer. So we can see what that's going to look like uh, already pre-filling out the AS9102 form. So that is how that works. 
And then when you are uh, on the final inspection operation for a work order, this is where the print options for what other associated documents will be included uh, where, where this is specified. These print options are being pulled from the customer profile in ProShop through the contacts module. So this, this customer does, us requ does require us to include certs, they want an approved print included, and they want first articles. And we know they're in the AS9A102 format because that's on their profile as well. So when I click the print button here, ProShop goes and finds all the certs related to that work order. You can see there's some material certs. Here's a cert from a uh, plating process. There's a copy of that balloon drawing. And then here is all three forms, form one, form two, and form three of the AS9102 format. And then you will also notice this little warning sign. This is warning us that there is a vendor PO in ProShop that has this work order listed on it, but there is not a cert attached in the cert column. Um, so we can see there's the PO number, there's the line item number, and we can go figure out why that cert isn't attached. So that's just a little bit about ProShop uh, and how we handle uh, building inspection plans, executing those on work orders, and then preparing the documents to send to our customer. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.